us up, Layla. So today we're going to be checking out some raid. And so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do Phantom Shogun Stage 25. And you could run this with all rares, okay? The team that we are going to be running is going to be Gnarlhorn, because he can't weak hit, so he's going to be fantastic there. We're going to have Paragon, because between Gnarlhorn's unkillable and Paragon's unkillable, basically we're going to keep Gnarlhorn unkillable the whole time. Two Cold Hearts. And in this showcase, I'll be running Mithrala. However, like I said, you can also do this with all rares. So you can use Reliquary Tender as the rare here as well too. She's the high elf rare reviver, okay? Doesn't still have to be Mithrala. But the idea is that Gnarlhorde can't weak hit here. So he's great for this. And also his A1 is his damage increase according to how much HP this champion has lost. So basically you're keeping him living on a prayer with basically like one HP the whole time. And that's how this works. Now this is going to be courtesy of Broth. Broth also did a nice little write up too, which I'm going to share. And I am going to have his links down below. So make sure that you go like his content as well too. Go subscribe to him go give him a follow on twitch and so bronze is also commenting that in place of mithrala you can use anybody with a three turn cooldown cleanse where reliquary tender just happens to be a nice easy one right so starting with gnarlhorn okay with him his speeds can be adjusted slightly so you're going to see that we are going to have a 179 speed but like 180 is probably about as fast as you want him to go because he needs to be closer to paragon speed and you'll see that when we get to his stats he does need to be a little faster he needs to be faster than paragon or else paragon's unkillable will fall off too soon and we need that to stay on he needs to be our top crit damage target as well too so shogun keeps focusing him when he has the unkillables and it's gonna be very important that gnarl horn is going to be in the lead so paragon continues to put unkillables on him okay so talking about paragon is that paragon needs to probably be at like 176 to 178 speeds so like i said slightly lower than gnarl horn and about 25 to 30 thousand hp if he's too squishy he could sometimes just accidentally die which you don't want that to happen but overall he's not going to be too hard now we do have two cold hearts here, right? So we have cold heart alpha, who's got the uh, the six star blessing there and cold heart beta at the three star. So the cold heart's gotta be around 250 speed. They don't need accuracy, which is great. So you're looking for damage, but the crit damage needs to be less than gnarl horns. So you guys will see that as I get through and actually show their stats. They can be a little faster or slower. So we're gonna see speeds of like 248, 252, roughly around there. And Rot was commenting that he keeps them within about 10 speed difference of 250. And then, like I said, rounding out the team is going to be Mithrala. But again, doesn't have to be Mithrala if you don't have her. It could be Reliquary Tender. Also, Wyther could work. But again, if we're talking rares, Reliquary is great. As you know, we talked about, we've done another team previously with um, Shogun 25. Is Raiho can add some more damage as well too because Raho's got like the burns and decreased defense and stuff too so she is also a really really strong one to have and we're also talking about how you know there's some higher damage champs like ninja maybe newt marius marius is gonna be the new horse when someone gets some chronum that could deal a lot of damage with burns and they also you know you could have brimstone on them as well too for a blessing or even a crazia could be really great too royal guards a really nice replacement instead of a cold heart as well but not necessarily needed and any damage dealer overall will probably work in place of the cold hearts because again what's really really important with this is going to be gnarl horn and paragon now with this team you know it with all rares it could be about two to three minutes could be what the run is going to be then obviously as you get better champs in there if you end up getting higher attack kind of champs too like i just mentioned a couple of them then your runs could be a little bit faster as well so since we you know we chatted about them is let's let's go over their gear and stuff right so we're gonna see with mithrala she does have one perception set and you're gonna see that she actually is in bolster so for her it's protected 30 percent hp ally shield and heals as well too and she does have one specialty amulet it looks like she has a revenge amulet and for her stats so each time we do have phantom shogun i'll show i feel like that nobody here has any like added stat boosts from phantom shogun but just in case i will show that as well so we're going to see she's at 49,000 HP. She's at 2,400 attack. Her defense is going to be 2,900. Her speed is 283. She's crit capped with 117 on the crit damage. 
117 again on the resistance and 554 on the accuracy. So we do see she has a blessing and she has a brimstone. It's going to be a two star. So that is going to do smite with increased attack and HP. And here's her mastery. So we're going to see for her, she's going to be offense and support. And then what you don't see right here behind me is going to be methodical kill streak with her T6 being war master. Now I also didn't look, but I'm assuming she's fully booked. And she is. So again, keep in mind, Mithrala is replaceable. She's interchangeable, like Reliquary Wyther. So there's other options as well if you do not have Mithrala. Next, why don't we do Gnarlhorn? And I'll come back to like the cold arts probably in the end. So here's Gnarlhorn. You are going to see that he's in Perception. He also does have a Resilience, which is going to be HP and Defense. And he has two mixed pieces, okay? Now for his stats, I'm pretty sure he has nothing for Phantom Shogun. That's correct. He has almost 59,000 HP. His attack's 2,100, 2,600 Defense. His speed is 179. Low crit rate, but again, we want him to be the highest on crit damage so that the Shogun attacks him, right? So he's at 316% crit damage, 163 resistance, and then 161 on the accuracy. For his blessing, he has Phantom Touch. He is fully booked. So Phantom Touch, we actually have a five star on there, which is 75% chance of inflicting bonus damage. Then we also have resistance, accuracy, extra crit damage, defense, attack, and HP. Now, also pointing out that he needs to be tanky, so he does need to have a good amount of life because he needs to take the first hit and live through that. And no masteries here. Don't need to worry about the masteries for this right now. Paragon is going to be up next. So Paragon, we're going to see that he has... Looks like he's got one set of resistance, which is resistance plus 40, and then looks like just a bunch of mixed pieces. And you guys notice he's only going to be a five star. He's not even a, he's not even going to be a six star for this. That isn't needed. So for his stats, again, we don't have any area bonuses. About 37 and a half thousand HP, 1200 attack, 1800 defense, 177 speed. We don't have crit caps, which is fine because we're not really worried about that. 106% crit damage, 182 resistance, and then 124 accuracy. So let me see. Is he fully booked? He is fully booked. And then his masteries, he doesn't even have any. It doesn't even really matter, right? Because again, his purpose here is just to make him fast enough and in the right positions so that he keeps placing unkillable on Gnarlhorn. And then let's get to the cold hearts. So again, like I was mentioning before, is the cold hearts aren't necessarily necessary. You could put other damage dealers in here and the runs could be a bit faster too. But if you like the idea of a full kind of rare team, then that's the idea with Reliquary. So this is going to be cold heart alpha, cold heart omega. Let's go for the first one, right? So she has one speed set and she also has a perception set and then some broken pieces. And then for her... No air bonuses. We have about 42 and a half thousand HP, 2,900 attack, 1,800 defense, 252 speed. Not crit cap, which is okay. Crit damage, we have 213. So again, remember your damage dealers, you want them to have less crit damage than Gnarlhorn. 179 resistance and the 325 on the accuracy. I'm going to say she's not even fully booked, which is fine. And then we have Phantom Touch for her. She has the full six star. So she has a 100% chance of inflicting bonus damage. And that gives her extra speed, resistance, accuracy, crit damage. Gives her all those. And here are her masteries. So we're going the offense and the support. So what you don't see behind me is going to be methodical, kill streak, and war master. Okay? And then the last one is going to be the second cold heart. So for her, she has a crit damage set, a speed set, and a perception. And for her stats, let's take a look at her. Again, no area bonuses, which is fine. We have about 36 and a half HP, 3,200 attack, 1,900 on the defense, 247 speed, not crit capped, which is fine. And again, 245 crit damage, less than Laurel Horns, what we want. 109 resistance, and then 299 on the accuracy. And this one happens to be fully booked, but again, not necessarily necessary here. She has a three-star Phantom Touch. So it's going to give us 30% bonus damage along with HP attack and defense. And then her masteries are going to, again, going to be offense and support with Methodical, Killstreak, and War Master being the T6. 
Also, something Bra did want to mention as well too, is that for this, he doesn't even really need books. Just pointing that out. Really all we're gonna have, and you're gonna see this in the preset, is it's just gonna be his A1. That's, that's really it. That's kind of all we're working with here. So he doesn't even really need to be fully booked, but considering he's a rare and easy to book, most people probably are going to book him. So there's our team, guys. Let's go run Phantom Shogun 25. All right, guys, here we are with Phantom Shogun 25. So as I mentioned before, is you are going to want Gnarl, Horn, and Lead. That's going to ensure that Paragon keeps placing the unkillable on him when it drops. And he does ally defense and dodges by 27% anyway. So let's check out the preset. The preset of Norhorn, as I mentioned, is you are pretty much only going to be using his A1. Mithrala, we're focusing Libation of Pain, which hits twice, and a Poison. And shutting up the Sigil of Toxic Glory. Paragon, we are going to be focusing on his Unkillable, because again, we want him to be able to put that on Norhorn when his drops. And then here's our damage dealers. So, Cold Heart, Alpha... The Omega, above all. She doesn't have any restrictions here. However, the second Cold Heart does. We turn off her Art of Pain, which is the multi-hit, okay? So with that, we don't have a whole lot of energy here. So I am just gonna, just gonna run it as is. And here we go. So again, like we were saying, is Gnarlorn has to be able to take that first hit from Shogun, which he did. It took about half his HP down, right? So you want to make sure that he's tanking, has enough HP, he'll live. He gets attacked, but already has an unkillable on him, so he's good. And he should continue to basically take all of Phantom Shogun's attention and damage. But having the unkillable on, he should be fine. And again, so remember with his A1 is his damage scales according to how much HP he's lost. And so he is, there he is living with a sliver and on a prayer of like this 1% HP unkillable. There we go. Paragon places unkillable on Gnarlhorn and he's safe again. Okay. Those of you guys watching on YouTube, I am recording this live on Twitch, and Twitch chat's commenting how they have these champs. So in case you had missed it, what I pointed out to you is Mithrala isn't necessary. You can also use Reliquary Tender. And the same thing with the Cold Hearts. The Cold Hearts aren't necessary. You can use other attack champs if you want to as well. It's just if you want to make it a rare-only build, then, you know, Reliquary it is. Otherwise, you have other options too. Okay. So we're about a minute and 20. Norhorn's doing just fine. Just tanking all the damage here. All right. And it ends up being about like, you know, two or three minutes depending. Yeah, also, yeah, if you have Raiho, Raiho's great instead of Mithrala as well too. But not everybody has her. Okay. There's the cleanse. And Narlhorn kept a Shogun occupied the whole time. Wonderful. And there it is. All right. So just about two minutes on there. Narlhorn didn't have a lot of damage, which was fine. He's kind of, he's basically like the tank target in some ways, right? But look at those cold hearts. 1.6 million apiece. Even Mithrala. Look at that at the 1-1. One, one. Broad, thank you so much for this, guys. I'm going to have links down below for Broad. He does stream on Twitch, so make sure you guys give him a follow over there. I also have his YouTube channel. Go toss him a sub. I'd love to know, you know, are you guys running this as well, too? Do you have some other fun combinations you've been doing as well? Drop me a comment down below, and thanks for watching.